everybody and God bless. So I had um, the most amazing dream ever. <laughs> um, so in the dream, I was in a classroom and we were all just super, super happy and having so much fun. And our teacher, who I believe, strongly believe represented Jesus. Okay, that's what I felt in my spirit when I woke up. I was like, I feel like this lady represents Jesus. I'm not saying that Jesus is a woman. I'm just saying that he appears to us in any form that is just good for that moment. And um, he appeared to me in my dream as a teacher. And she, um, she, we were doing a game. A game was to get to know each other because I feel like it was probably like the first day or something like that. And that's normally what teachers do. Like they'll send out something for like a first day thing. I think that's that's what they did when I was in school. I don't know what they're doing now because the world's going a little... Eh. But that's what they did back in the day when I used to go to school. And um, it was literally every single year, every single teacher, they do something to get to know each other. So first, in the beginning, this classroom was full. Every single seat was sat in. And we were playing a game and it was a get to know you game. So let's say... Um, so what it was, it was like there was a category and then there was like different like slots that you could pick so let's say like the category was what's your favorite color and the, it would be different colors so let's say um well actually this is what happened in my dream so my teacher had picked on somebody whose name started with a k i cannot remember his name um but it was a guy and his name started with a k and um my teacher was like so like what's your favorite color that's a category and so he was like i pick let's say black green red or something like that and then our teacher would be like, okay, so which which like part do you think would be like the most popular? And let's say he said blue would be the most popular. And so our teacher would go over to the to the dry erase board, um, and she would write down like his name, the question, what's your favorite color, and then like what he picked, blue. And then our teacher would go and ask like, okay, so who all agrees with him? Like who all agrees that this question would be the most popular? So we all rose our hand and it was all the people whose names started with K. And I am jokingly made a joke and I was like, oh, look at that. Um, us K names, we got to stick together because if he won, then he would have won. And that's what shows me like this classroom was pure and honest. Because in real life, like if you know that you're like helping somebody else win, like you're not going to tell the truth. But because this was honestly like a truth game, like you had to be honest with it. And we all trusted each other. We were all honest and we were all like super, super happy. So our teacher was writing down names now guys listen to this <laughs> okay my teacher wrote down six names and she wrote down kai and um i know a girl in real life her name is kylie and she goes by kai and that's i had a knowing that's who it was her name was kylie and she went by kai um and so our teacher had wrote down her name and all of a sudden everybody was like she's not here she's not here and that's when i started looking at it notice all this full classroom all of a sudden had like slots that were like empty like nobody was sitting in the seat no was in the seat in real life if a teacher knows that you are not in the classroom they're probably going to write down your name somewhere else to remember to like call a parent or call you or like give you a slash or something to get in trouble they're probably going to make a joke and be like oh my goodness this person's missing out on this this person's missing out on that they're going to acknowledge the fact that you're not there my teacher is like she was like oh they're not here slash cross out crossed out her name and replaced her like like that like sh she did not it's like she didn't it didn't phase her i'm not gonna say she didn't care but it just the way she acted was like they're not here they're not here they're not prepared they're not ready then they're getting replaced um and she had somebody to replace them with she was like okay well i'm gonna pick a different k name and she put courtney spelled with a k courtney wasn't there either all right cross out and all of a sudden like i think it was like i blinked my eyes and all of a sudden it was like three four other names that were written down that got crossed out they were not there and then the last name she wrote down was logan and logan was there so she was like okay now it was slit six slots and she made sure that every single like not six slots but like she had wrote down six names originally and she made sure that she ended with six names it wasn't like okay well we don't have anybody else to like fill this slot in so we're just gonna end with five like no the original number was six and she ended with six so everybody got replaced so then, um, the next category was self-awareness. 
Now, she would ask a couple of people in the same uh, category. Like, she would ask a bunch of people, like, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite color? What's your favorite color? And then she would go to the next category. And the next category in my dream, it actually was self-awareness. Now, I don't know what the category was before that. So, the whole, like, what's your favorite color? That was just an example. Because um, I don't remember what the actual category was. But the self-awareness was actually, like, it actually said self-awareness in my dream. And the first slot... Um, the first like answer of self-awareness was self-harm and I remember looking at that like what and it was like gray like super super gray and everything else was like light and like a pink purplish color and um it was like self-harm and then it was something something I don't remember what it was and then it said prayer slash healing okay it took me a while to remember what it said because I kept on saying it was prayer slash h word I think it said prayer slash healing and I remember looking at it and I was just like, that's weird that self-harm is up there. But once she gets to me, if she calls on me, I'm going for prayer because I know myself and I know I pray a lot. And um, so she called on the guy in front of me and he was like, yeah, I'm very self like afflicted. Like I know what self like affects me, afflicts, I think, or affects. I don't think he said affects. I think he said afflict. Alrighty guys, so I like really have to be quiet when I say this because my daughter is like fighting her sleep like crazy. But um, when I was in the middle of looking up afflict, because I'm going to be honest with you guys, I had no idea what that word meant. I don't think I've ever used that word or heard it. Um, and I was looking it up to figure out what it meant. And I'm in the middle of listening to a song called Spirit Lead Me. And when I looked up the definition, I was like, this sounds so confusing. Like, why would he say that? Because, like, the examples, I don't think anybody said self-afflicts. And I was like, what? Like, I'm still confused. Like, I don't understand why he said that word. But in the middle of, like, the song, Spirit Lead Me, the guy who's singing it literally sings, Spirit Lead Me, Spirit Lead Me, even when it confuses me. I was like, oh, well, that's what he said in my dream. I don't understand why you said it. It is what it is. Um, so yeah, I'm probably just going to insert this at the end or I might just insert it in the middle. But yeah. And all of a sudden, the whole entire classroom just got sad. And we were like, what do you mean self afflicts And my teacher, like, she... And it wasn't because in real life, sad, sad but true. But in real life, in classrooms, like if you answer something like that and people assume that you're talking about self-harm, there's going to be some people that are going to want to make fun of you. There's going to be some people who are like not going to care. But in my dream, every single student cared. We all were just like, what's wrong? Like, talk to us instantly. Like the happiness in the room just went, what's wrong? And my teacher was like, what do you mean by self-afflict? Do you mean self-harm? And he was like, no, like, absolutely not. I do not mean self-harm. And all of a sudden, like, everybody in the classroom got super, super happy. He was like, no, I mean, like, I know what makes me happy. And I think that's what the first one underneath self-harm was. I think it said self-happiness. He was like, I know, like, what makes me happy. I know what makes me this. I know what makes me that. And she was, like, calling on people. Like, the next person she was going to call, it wasn't going to be, like, the person in front of me, then me, then that. It was more of, like, she was doing popcorn. Um... And I've recently found out that not many people know what popcorn means. So let me explain. Popcorn just means that, um, so like she'll call on like one person and then she'll like randomly call on somebody else, randomly call on somebody else, randomly call on somebody else. So I knew after he answered, she was going to call on the person all the way, like somewhere else. But I had a knowing in my heart, my soul, my spirit that she was going to call on me right after the guy over there. And, um... I knew she wanted, she was waiting to get to the self-awareness part because she knew that I knew myself. I know who I am. And um, I just had a knowing that she was proud of me. I was proud of me. I just wanted to like, you know, like really, really talk about like, yeah, like I know this about me. I know this about me. Um, I was just like super, super happy. So then, um, but yeah, that was the end of the dream. I didn't get to like, like answer the question, but I knew I was next. And... But I just want to go ahead and say, like, what that means. So, first of all, my mom had a dream. I don't know when she had it. But she had a dream that I was in a classroom. And I was very, very, like, rude and mean to people. I think I was mean to people. But she just said I was, like, not a good student. 
and um finding that out finding out that she had that dream I didn't know that she had that dream until after I had this dream and finding out that I was part of a classroom before and I just wanted to get out of there tells me that I could have been replaced but I wasn't replaced I was there I was in my seat and I rose my hand and I was one of the first names that was up there like I wasn't a replacement for somebody else nobody replaced me I was written down so that's just like amazing right there and then the fact that like she was proud of me and like I said like I believe that that was Jesus and that's just like telling me that like Jesus is proud of me for knowing who I am and proud of who I am like he he's proud of who I am and this also answers a few questions because like I would do things um where I would think of something and I'd be like am I doing this to myself like am I like is this like the devil affecting me or is this God affecting me like what is this and I would second guess myself a lot and this dream is telling me like no next time I feel like the devil is trying to affect me or something like that I need to like rebuke him I, I need to stop second guessing myself because that's what my dream was telling me like you know you and if I think some way that's it like stop second guessing myself because when I second guess myself I go down a whole rabbit hole of like huh like is this this is this this is this, this and that dream was telling me like don't second guess yourself God is proud of you you have done like the stuff that you have said stuff that you've done like he's proud of you so yeah and then obviously like people being replaced if you're not ready when you're called on ooh, that just put a chill down my spine if you're not ready when you're called on you're gonna be replaced <laughs> point bank period you not even just replaced like their names were crossed out i don't even think our teacher even looked in their seat we were just like they're not here oh cross out we're down a different name and we're like oh they're not here crossed out like whoo thank god i wasn't crossed out but for those of you out there you know don't get crossed out <laughs> bye <laughs>